Minecraft mob battle with my friend. But there's a massive roulette wheel on mutant mobs. This means whatever color you shoot on the wheel is the color of mutant mob that spawns in. But little does Smirky know that behind my roulette wheel is a cheat sheet. So I'll be able to counter whatever colors he chooses exactly. So Smirky, are you ready for the mob battle? Yes, I am, Courtney. And I'm totally gonna choose way better colors than you. We will see about that, Smirky. And anyways, let the roulette battle begin. And now that the roulette battle has officially begun, we can start off by cheating. And of course, we have the cheat cheat right by our roulette wheel so we'll know exactly what colors this but not only are we cheating with the roulette wheel we're also cheating with this massive one-way glass wall this means we will be able to see what color smirky chooses without him getting suspicious at all and it looks like smirky's actually aiming his bow already i think he's deciding which color to pick and it looks like he might be looking up at the lime part of the roulette wheel wait a second is he gonna shoot the lime that's my color and he shot it and oh my gosh Look at this! Smirky hit the lime color off the roulette wheel and it spotted these three super crazy mutant mobs. And it looks like they might all be these super cool green creepers. So there's just the default normal mutant creeper. Then there's this super tall green creeper. And then there's just this really, really big creeper that's not even really that green. Look at this. It starts with the most green mob and it gets less and less green with each mob. But these guys are really cool because these are three very, very powerful creepers and they have insane explosion attacks. Normally, we would not be able to defeat these guys, but remember, behind our roulette wheel, it'll tell us exactly what colors we need to shoot to win this mob battle. So, I'll tell you guys how to read this. Whatever color is on the right side is the color that is weaker than the one on the left. So, since Smirky chose the green, on the left of the green is yellow. So, that means we're gonna need to pick yellow on our roulette wheel, and that will be the perfect counter for green. And that's actually kind of funny because my favorite color is green, and Smirky's favorite color is yellow. So, we're basically choosing opposite colors on the roulette wheel. But anyways, let me head down here, get my bow, and we're just gonna go up to this yellow on the roulette wheel and just shoot it like this. And yes, I hit it. And I think it worked. Let's see what mobs we got. And what what are these things? We just got a tiny little ocelot and then a yellow horse. These are not mutant mobs. I just got scammed. But wait, why is there this potion on the floor? Wait a second. This is a chemical X potion. I think this is gonna allow us to make our mob super duper mutant because if you didn't know when you throw a chemical x potion on a normal mob it turns it into its super mutant variant not just its normal mutant variant my mobs are gonna be even more powerful than smirkies if i keep getting this chemical x potion and wait this actually makes a lot of sense because since one of the mobs that spawned on my side is an ocelot and smirky has mutant creepers on his side when i turn this ocelot mutant it will literally scare the creepers so much because creepers biggest fears are cats and anyways i think we should just throw this muted potion on this little kitty cat right here. So, Mr. Cat, are you ready to turn into a very, very scary mob? Well, you better be because it's gonna happen right now. And boom, look at this thing. It is no longer just an ocelot cat. This is a giant muted tiger now. Look at how big it is and it's literally just laying down. I think it's getting its energy nice and stored up so it can do some insane attacks during the mob battle. Let's go. Smirky Screepers are gonna be so scared of this massive super super powerful cat. But remember, we also have this golden horse over here. And I think this is pretty cool because it's giving us two mobs to spot in. And I think we just need to throw this chemical X on this golden horse and see what really cool yellow mutant mob we can get. So without further ado, let's just throw it. And boom, look at this thing. What on earth did this turn into? Is this like a mutant horse now? And it lost most of its yellow color, but it replaced it with this really cool iron armor with these yellow spots all over it. As a massive spike coming out of its head. This thing is so cool and it's almost like an alien horse because it has these super crazy blue and brown particles coming out of it and oh my gosh this has got to be the craziest horse ever. And look at it standing right next to my massive tiger. These are probably some of the coolest yellow mobs ever. But I don't think this is going to be enough mobs because look at how many mobs Smirky has. Now I think he spawned a bunch more. So we are definitely going to need more mobs to counter these guys even though we have the exact count. 
hunters. We now have a bunch of really cool giant tiger mutants and giant horse mutants. Let's go! Smokey is not gonna stand a chance against these guys. And anyway, Smokey, how is your mob army going? My army is going super duper good. I got a bunch of really cool variants of the same mob. A bunch of really cool variants of the same mob? Well, this is a mutant roulette wheel, Smokey, so that would probably explain it. I guess you're right, but I did get some insane mobs, so Cardi, I'm gonna let you know in advance. You are most likely gonna lose. Well, Smokey, I have no idea what you spawned in, obviously, but I'll tell you what I spawned in, and I actually have a bunch of ocelot cats that are actually mutant, and I'm pretty sure ocelots are really, really powerful against creepers, so if you have creeper mobs, you're done for. Creeper mobs? Are you kidding me? There is no way you got ocelots. What color did you even shoot? Yellow? Yeah, of course I chose yellow, Smokey, and I think we need to just drop these walls. All right, well, in that case, let's go. And let's go, and Smokey, the battle is beginning, and look at all my mobs, and wait, are my tigers turning invisible? And, Cardi, why are my mobs attacking each other all the way back here? They literally all died, and wait, your tigers can turn invisible? Yeah, and what on earth, Smokey? There's, like, baby tiny creepers on your side now, and uh, what, am I already winning this mob battle so quickly? I think so, Cardi. There is literally, like, one creeper over here and then the other one that died over there. Yeah, Smokey, and in this hole, there's a bunch of creepers that my ocelot mutant is attacking. Look, this is so crazy. Are you kidding me? How are your ocelots attacking, COVID? They're literally pouncing on them and killing all of them. Do I even have any left? Your I don't. tigers are kind of sleeping. I don't think so, Smokey. I think your creeper mutants were so scared of my ocelot mutants that they just ran off and looked. There's even a creeper egg right here, and it's on my head now. What? Are you kidding me, Cardi? I can't believe it. But well, how did you spawn an exact counters to my creepers? Well, Smirky, it's just luck. I just chose a good color on the roulette wheel. And are you ready to move on to the next round? Yes, Cardi. I guess I am. Let's go. Let's go. And boom, we're now on the second round of the mob battle. But don't leave. Because remember, we still have all of these colors to counter and use our insane chemical exposure to make mobs mutant. So this is going to be really, really cool. But before we make any of our mobs muted, let's see what color Smokey's gonna shoot on his roulette wheel. And it looks like he already has his bow ready. And is he aiming up at the blue color? I think he might fear. Maybe he's aiming at the purple. I can't really tell. But I guess we're about to find out when he shoots that bow. And he shot the blue. And it looks like Smokey's mob spawned in. And look at this. It looks like he has two really cool water mobs. Because there's a giant whirlpool water tornado. And even a man literally made of water and oh my gosh is he getting sucked into that water whirlpool well those are some pretty cool water mobs smirky has and he also has this really cool blue mutant spider this is really cool and really really powerful just look at how big this mutant spider is well anyways we have to figure out the counter for these mobs because i am really worried that we might actually lose this one that dark blue color smirky chose was really op but on our cheat sheet it says that the red color is actually better than the blue color. And I guess that kind of makes sense since Smirky had two water mobs and the red color is usually associated with fire. If we get a fire mob, we might be able to evaporate the water of the water mobs and burn that spider alive. So let's see what kind of mobs we get when we choose the red color. So let's grab our bow, step right here, and I think and I think we just gotta aim up here and we really gotta make sure not to miss this shot or else we're gonna get trash mobs. So let's just, let's just shoot this right now. And I think we we hit it. Let's go. And it looks like we might have gotten two really cool mobs. This guy's red and this guy's actually kind of more of an orange color. But maybe when I throw the chemical X potion, he'll turn red. And wait, what is this over here? Did I actually get three mobs? What is this thing? This is a tiny little insect bug. Oh my gosh, this is so trash. There's no way that's going to turn into a good mob. But anyways, let's just go over to this bear mob because this is the coolest looking one. And I think we need to throw the chemical X potion on this to turn it into its crazy mutant variant. So, Mr. Red Bear, are you ready to turn into the craziest mob you'll ever be ever in your life? Well, you better be, because I'm throwing this potion right now. And oh my gosh, this is definitely the craziest mob it'll ever be in its life. Because look at this, this is the Nether Scourge boss. And he's basically just a giant nether mob with a bunch of wither skeleton heads floating around it, and these massive, super scary legs, and a really, really scary face. Oh my gosh, this thing is so cool. And that's not even mentioning its attack.
attacks. Its attacks are super, super OP. But I don't want to wait any longer. Let's just go over to this little beetle bug right here and throw a chemical X potion on this guy. So let's go. And look at this thing. What on earth is this? This is a mutant Hercules beetle. And it is super, super cool. It has this massive mouth and this big red thing on the back. And I was right. It went from an orange mob into a red mob. And let's go. I'm super excited to see this guy's attacks. But wait, is it waking up? And oh my gosh, it has pushed me away from it. What? Okay, this thing is already very powerful. I don't even need to know his attacks. And last but not least, we have this little insect bug that we have to throw the potion on. Okay, I guess we'll just see what this turns into. This is gonna be so trash, but let's just throw the potion. And uh, wait, where did this mob go? I just threw the chemical X potion on it and it disappeared. And wait, what is this thing? Did that little insect bug turn into this monstrosity? What even is this thing? It's like a massive uh, big block of cheese or something. I don't even know how to explain this thing, but it has a bunch of eyes and these really big things. So it's some sort of spider mob, I'm guessing. Well, that's really cool. And I bet it can spawn in cobwebs and stuff to make Smirky's mobs stuck in them. And anyways, on this second round, how is your mob army going in this mutant roulette battle? My army is really, really good this round, Kari. Well, your army is really, really good this round. Well, you said that last time and your army got destroyed so fast. That doesn't matter, Cardi, because this time is different. I literally have this insane spider mob, this literal guy of water, and some tornado. I don't even know what this tornado is doing, but it's kind of flinging my mobs everywhere. Wait, it sounds like you have a bunch of water mobs. Well, I have a bunch of fire and lava mobs, so I think you're done for, because fire beats water always. Fire beats water? That's not true, Cardi. My water is going to put out the fire, no doubt about it. Okay, well, I guess we're going to see about that, Smokey. Let's drop the walls in three, two, one, and let's go ahead. Oh, my gosh. I think the battle's beginning. Look at this. Let's go in. What on earth is that, Cardi? Is that like a snail or what is that? I don't even know what this big thing is, but it looks like my mobs are completely messing up your water mobs. Like, look at your man of water. He's just getting thrown around like a little ball. Uh, that's only one of my three mobs. I still have a few more mobs. Okay, maybe that one is just kind of bad or something. But Smarky, look over here. Your other two mobs are not even fighting. I think this is going to be a super, super easy win for me. Oh, uh, no, it definitely won't. Look at this. It's literally trapping your guy in webs. No, Smarky, I'm pretty sure that's my mob spotting in those webs because my mob is also a spider silk mob. What? That's a spider? No way. And wait, it just died, Cardi. Let's go. And Smarky, I don't even think your mob killed my mob. I think my mob accidentally killed it. I think there's a 0% chance you're going to win because my mobs are now attacking your tornado. Oh my gosh. And wait, where is my tornado going? And everything just got launched into the air. And wait, where is your spider? I think it died. Are you kidding me, Cardi? Okay, well, I only have this tornado left, so hopefully it can kill stuff. Uh, but Smarky, what are you talking about? You stopped this tornado left. It literally just died when you said that and dropped some XP. I just won. Are you kidding me? I can't believe it. Well, Smirky, you better believe it because we have to move on to the third round. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go. Let's go. And boom, we're now on the third round. And let's just jump straight into this thing. But remember, guys, don't leave because we still have our most powerful colors to choose for muted mobs. And anyways, what is Smirky gonna shoot? And it looks like he's aiming his bow at either the purple one or maybe the pink one. Well, those are two pretty powerful colors and I really hope nothing powerful spots it so I'll be able to win again. And he shot the purple one and hit it. And look at that. I think a mutant mob probably spawned in. And oh my gosh, is that a mutant enderman on his side? Look at that. That is the craziest purple mob ever. Because if you didn't know, mutant endermen are super powerful and they're probably one of the most powerful mutant mobs because they can pick up blocks from the ground and throw them. And normally, I'd be really, really scared of that thing because it can literally spawn in duplications of itself and it almost cannot die. But remember, we have the counter behind our roulette wheel. So it'll tell us exactly what mobs to choose and it looks like the counter for purple is going to be light blue. And wait, that makes a lot of sense because Enderman's biggest fear is actually water and light blue is the color of water. So this should be really, really good for me. So let's just go down to our platform right here and instantly shoot this light blue color. Okay, we cannot miss this. And let's shoot this right now. And let's see what mob 
Oops, we got and wait, we literally just got one super small mob. And what even is this? Is this like some sort of tree frog? Yeah, I think this is a frog because look at it. It's super tiny and it has the legs of a frog. And I bet if I punch it, it'll jump super high and it's not really jumping that high. I don't even know what this is. Is it even a frog? I guess we'll never know because I'm about to throw this chemical X potion on it to turn it into its craziest mutant variant. So let's just go right now. And oh my gosh, what is this thing? I think this is the ocean god and this is definitely a water mob. And since this guy is so cool, why don't we just feed him this water bucket and then maybe he'll start to spawn a bunch of water everywhere. So I'm just gonna toss him this water bucket and you better start to do some pretty cool stuff, mister. And okay, I gave him the water bucket and I got a new one and he's not even doing anything different. But wait, is he spawning water out the arena now? Okay, I was gonna feed him another water bucket, but it looks like he is spawning a bunch of water every single place he walks. Look at this now. The entire arena is slowly turning into water. Let's go. And when Smirky's Enderman walk in this water, he will be so, so done for. And speaking of Smirky's Enderman, Smirky, how is your army going on the third round? My army is going really, 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 really good. And it's super duper mutant. Okay, Smirky, I don't even care how good your army's going because I bet I have another exact counter. And are you ready to drop the walls? Yes, I am. Let's go. And boom, let's go. And Smirky, do you see my mob? I literally have a massive water creature. What is that? Okay, uh, my mutant Enderman should be able to take this mob out, but it kind of sucks because Enderman can't actually go in water and wait, where did they go? They can't go in water, Cardi. Yeah, Smirky, I think maybe your Enderman TP'd away because you started with like four and now there's only three. And what are they doing? They're literally getting stuck in water. I thought they didn't like water. Smirky, well, every time they go to water, they take a bunch of damage and wait, did that one just die or something? Yes, I think it might have died because look, it's doing its death animation and I think this is gonna be a really, really easy win for me. There's no way. Okay, I have one more Enderman left and I should be able to go and take out your mobs. Smirky, what do you mean? You really think your Endermen are gonna be able to defeat a water god? There's literally these crazy attacks flying everywhere that my mob's spawning in. Uh, okay, but your mob should be super low. They've been doing a lot of damage to it. Smirky, I don't think so because it looks like an Enderman's dying right there and it looks like another Enderman's dying right here and oh my gosh, you have zero Enderman left, Smirky. I think I just won. There is no way. And wait, your guy is still taking damage in. Oh, oh, never mind. He's still alive. I can't believe it. Yeah, Smirky, he survived and he has this massive yellow eye right in the center of him. I think that's really cool. And anyways, are you ready to move on to the last round? Yes, I am. Let's go. Let's go. And boom, we are actually now on the final round of the mob battle. And whoever wins this round wins the entire mob battle. So I have to 100% make sure that the color I choose is really, really good. But just like every other round, we have to see what color Smirky chooses first. And it looks like he might be aiming up towards the red or the pink color. I wonder which one he's gonna pick. And he's probably gonna pick the pink because pink hasn't been chosen yet. And it looks like he shot it and he hit it and he's hitting it a bunch of times and... And look at this. This is insane. It looks like a bunch of super cool pink mobs spawned in. Now, obviously, there's this massive pink monster, which I think is a massive mutant alien. And then there's also a mutant shulker box right there. And mutant shulker box are a lot more powerful than they seem. This one is sleeping right now, but when they wake up, they can shoot out like a thousand attacks at once. So this is not gonna be good for me. This is probably Smirky's most powerful army yet. But of course, let's look behind our roulette wheel real quick, and it looks like the counter for pink is orange. And that's actually perfect because orange is the only color that hasn't been chosen in this mob battle yet. So let's go down here, and I am literally just gonna do a 360 no scope onto this orange color. Are you ready for this? Let's do the 360 no scope right now. And I think I hit it. Let's go. That was super cool. And let's see what mobs I've got. And it looks like I have two mobs this round. I have this little orange zombie looking creature and literally a tiny little hermit crab. But wait, this is not a normal hermit crab. This thing literally has a helmet on its back as a shell. That's how you know this thing's gonna be OP. But I think we should start off by throwing the chemical X potion on this orange zombie. Because I bet he's gonna turn into a really, really cool mutant orange zombie robot or something like that. I don't actually know. But I guess we're gonna have to figure out. And anyways, let's just throw this in three, two, and... Wait, what is that over there? Is this a literal subscribe button painted on the floor? Who on earth put this here? That must 
must be a sign. Everyone that's watching this video needs to subscribe to the channel right now because there's a subscribe button on the floor and many of you guys watch so many videos but you're just not subscribed. So please subscribe. I'm gonna give you three seconds and then I'll throw this chemical X potion. So subscribe in three. Two, one, and thank you for subscribing. Now, we'll be able to throw this chemical ice potion on our mob. Let's go right here and throw this thing. And would you look at this? I was right. It actually turned into a cool robot zombie mob. Because look at this thing. I think it's made out of some orange copper metal now. And it has this head that's literally spinning around in circles as four faces. This thing is actually epic. And since his arms are so big, these probably act as hammers and can do some insane attacks. Well, let's just head over to our tiny little crabber right here and let's just not even wait any seconds let's just throw this right now and oh my gosh what is this thing this is absolutely insane this is a massive lava behemoth and this thing is actually enormous it went from a tiny little crab into a mob almost as big as the entire arena what it's literally bigger than the entire roulette wheel that is really really cool well i think this is gonna be an instant win for us because we have a really cool robot monster and this massive mob Mob. So, Smirky, are you ready to start the mob battle? Yes, I am, Gordy. Let's go. Let's go, Smirky. And oh my gosh, I don't think you're gonna win. Because look at how big my mobs are. Your mob is huge. What is this, Gordy? Okay, this is actually so insane. I know this is insane, but oh, I think your shulkers are making my mobs fly. And it's even making your own mobs fly. That is really funny. Wait, it can make mobs fly. Okay, that's OP, but what on earth did you spot in? I didn't even see this giant mob this is actually crazy wait you didn't see this giant mob how do you not see a giant mob and did it just turn nighttime what i think it did and look how cool all these attacks look and wait my orange mob turned purple i think he's even more powerful now and wait since he's so powerful he just killed all your shulkers in one hit and i think he also just killed your fluto queen smoky because look at the acid dropping from the sky that's what spawns it when a fluto queen dies and that means my mobs are the last Last mob standing. I don't see any of your stalkers anywhere, Smirky. I just won. Oh my gosh. That is actually insane, Cordy. But how did you do it? How did you just get the better colors on your roulette wheel? Wait, Smirky. Uh, do not look behind my roulette wheel. There's nothing that you need to see back here. What do you mean, Cordy? It's just white back there, right? And wait, uh, cheat and then colors. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Smirky. Okay, I have to admit this to you. I was secretly cheating the whole time. I was using this cheat sheet to see exactly what colors you chose, and I was choosing the exact counters. Oh my gosh, Cordy, I can't believe it. That is just insane. I'm sorry, Sparky, but everyone, please subscribe and I'll give him the win. Bye, guys, and click the video on the screen. Click the video on the screen. Bye.